<laughs> Hi there. Um, in today's video, I'm going to discuss um, more about the C Trader Automate. So the C Trader Automate is built into C Trader, and I'm going to talk about what is an automated trading system. Um, so there's a lot of different types of um, trading systems that are automated using C Trader. It's not all uh, trading robots. There are alert systems, there are um, systems that take away repetitive tasks, and I'm just gonna go through and explain them all to you. And what I'm gonna do also is explain what a lot of mis misconception that people are calling automated trading systems, expert advisors and CBOTs, and what is the actual real name for it. So I'll go straight ahead and I'll go into the next um, window. So what I'm gonna do is show you the types of automated trading systems. So, and the three different, there are many different types of automated trading systems, but you've got the fully automated ones, which has no human interaction. Um, I wouldn't recommend running an, a trading system that opens and closes trades based on trade rules that is fully automated. This may be okay um, in the change in market. So you might pick a, a trading system that will work in a certain market conditions and then turn it off when these market conditions change. So it, it still needs human interaction. So what I'm trying to say is, um, there is no robot, in my opinion, that you can just turn on in any market conditions and it will generate revenue 24-7, 365 days a year. If there was, this tool would be invaluable. It would be priceless. So trading systems are mostly semi-automated or they require some human interaction or you have a set of tools or a set of trading systems that you built or algorithms that you use when there's certain market conditions like a news release or when the markets are trending in a certain direction or even when they're flat. <clears throat> so um so what we've i mean we've got over five years experience at click algo building trading systems for customers and there are trading systems that you can use all through the year um, any market condition but what you need to do is change the parameters if it doesn't work for a certain symbol you need to change it and stop using it um, and also if, if you're getting poor results you wait until the market changes the cycle okay so you've got semi-automated trading systems as well and these are the ones where you do need human interaction and these are the ones that i feel are beneficial in the markets and these would be for trade rules like opening trades closing trades um, identifying trade setups so you might have um, you might be sat there watching your charts for a certain conditions, you know, for a certain uh, simple moving average, and then uh, maybe a harmonic scanner and a support and resistance levels. So you might have a certain trade setup that you use manually, and it means that you sit there for hours and hours waiting for these tr uh, setups to occur. Now, what you can do, you can automate that task. So instead of sitting there waiting for your perfect setup for it to happen that you do manually, you convert that into an automated system so that you can go away and do other trading or other analysis. And then the moment that these conditions are met, you can either be sent an alert telling you these conditions have been met and you manually enter the trade, or you can have the system automatically submit an order into the, into the system for you. Now, to do that, um, you just set up these trade rules. You normally create a um, project specification. You design it. That's the most important thing. You design your system up front first. You make sure that it's um, exactly how your manual trading works and exactly how it works um, for you yourself. And then you request the help with um, developers or you try and code it yourself and then you work on it and tweak it. And you might notice that it's not quite the same as your manual system. It's not quite working the same because automated systems are slightly different. And then you just want to tweak it and keep it going until it's working how it is. So that's what a semi-automated trading system. Now you can have it so it opens trades, closes trades, manages the position size. You can have all of this happen. And over time, you can build it so that um, you really do take away a big chunk of human interaction um, and the, the system will run for you. Um, in your own rules. And as you know, the market, like I said previously, the markets do change. So it might come to a point where this trading system is no longer viable. It's no longer um, generating revenue that you want it to. You simply stop using it and you analyze why that's happening and you might need to modify your system again, or you just have different systems with different market conditions. Now, another use of um, an automated system is an alert system. So you might want it just to send alerts. It might be as simple as, as um, a relative strength index, you know, when a, when a uh, symbol is overbought or oversold, you might want to be um, informed via, via telegram, email, or any other method. You might want to be informed as soon as this happens. And this would be an automated system, but more of an alert system that will actually send you um, instant alerts the moment that conditions are met. So these are trade rules. So a trade ball would be an automated system. Like I said, you have a manual system that you've honed over the last few years and you've got it working perfectly, perfectly for you, but you know that it can be automated and you're really looking at a way of taking away those, these repetitive tasks of you staring at charts all day and you just automate it. 
so that these repetitive tasks are turned into an automated system or an algorithm that will actually do it for you. Okay, <clears throat> there is no, um, in my opinion, system that will constantly generate revenue by just clicking on a start button and leaving it running forever. Okay, um, at some point it might work for a year or two, it might work for a few months, but at some point these conditions will change. So you need to constantly um, be aware of it and constantly um, evolve your system or decide which system you want to use. Okay, so the only thing I want to talk about is expert advisors. Now, a lot of uh, MetaTrader um, traders are actually starting to use the CTrader trading platform and they feel, because they haven't maybe had the background in, uh, in algorithmic trading, they feel that the terminology for the word an automated system is expert advisor. Now, Expert Advisor was actually um, a name created by MetaTrader, and MetaTrader is a company that created the platform for MT4 and MT5. So the actual word Expert Advisor um, is not actually an industry standard word, and it's not doesn't apply to CTrader. It's only specific for um, the MT4 platform. So it's not really a word that you should use as an industry standard. The same again with um, CTrader. CTrader call their automated trading system CBOTS. Again, it's a non-industry standard terminology, um, but it's just used by them to identify their own individual CBOTS. The actual correct word is obviously automated trading systems or an ATS. It is an industry standard terminology defined by Wikipedia. And as it says on there, it's a computer program that creates buy and sell orders automatically based on predefined trade rules. Now it doesn't have to actually create buy and sell orders. It can be used, like I said, to identify trade setups or even to manage existing positions. So you can have an automated system that and I'll show you some of the ones we're using where where you manually or you have another system enter a trade, this will manage the stop loss for you or manage to take profit. So you can have an automated algorithm that will actually um, say trail, trail using the um, average true range indicator or, or moving average, trail the, tr the uh, stop loss behind the price and lock in profits. So a trading system doesn't need to open up positions. It can be used to manage existing positions. It's all about trade rules and how you've got a system running. Um, it's also known as a mechanical trading system. So there are a few words for it. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you there. Now what I'm going to do is just close this window. If I can actually do that. Um, I'm actually going to try and what, what I've got here is this window is trapping everything I want to do. Okay. Just close that. And I'm going to do now is go straight to CTrader. I move C Trader across the window. Sorry about that. The actual window was in the way. Now I'm going back to C Trader just to show you the different types of automated trading systems. But because the word automated trading system defines that it's actually an automated trading system that buys and sells orders, um, it's not necessarily true with C Trader or any other trading system because you might have a, a system that doesn't automatically trade for you. It might be something completely different. I'll just quickly show you a few that we've got. Um, so the real word for that would be more something like an add-on like Ninja Trader uses. So I'll just quickly go through some of the systems that we've got. We've got one called Advanced Protection. So what this will do, this will actually um, manage your existing open positions. And when they uh, take profit target has been reached, it will actually close a certain percentage of it. So this in effect is an automated trading system that manages existing trades. And you can also use it as a break even or a take profit target or a break even. Um, and you can also create stealth loss or trailing stop loss. So that's just a form of automated system that manages existing trades. Here we've got another one, which is an ATR trailing stop. So this will trail the stop loss. So if you open up a position with another automated system or manually, it will trail the stop loss behind the price, okay? Based on the average true range indicator. Um, I'll scroll down to this one, duplicate me. This is another one. Now this is a little tool that um, all it does is once you enter a very nifty little tool, you just say five. And if I was to actually start it and then submit one order, if I just submit a single order, um, it will actually create five separate orders. Okay. So again, it's a tool that some people might want to use to create multiple orders with one click. So that just gives you a demonstration of the type of tools that you can use. Uh, one here, which is not even a trading system. It's more of an add-on again. Um, we haven't defined the terminology for all of this yet. Um, so this just uses uh, TradingView's sort of um, widget interface to say that the Euro USD right now, there's a strong buy signal coming out of there. So this tool can be just more like an add-on that goes on the chart. Um, and then I'll just go on from there. I just need to open it back up. And then we've got um, another one down here. I'll just quickly go through them. Now, this one is an, another reason for using an add-on in a sense. So not all um, CBOTs are trading systems. Um, they can be used for all different things. 
I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of examples just so you know that um, you know there's no real limit to what you want to do. So this one is a a um, guardian angel or, an, or a risk management tool that actually manage your risk and send you alarms when certain conditions are met, a trade activity or account alarms. And these will actually send you telegram messages or manually close or automatically close positions when say their example, um, you have so many consecutive winners, you can then just close and stop trading. Okay, and I'll just quickly go through some of the others. You've got um, MACD alerts, a memory manager tool, which is completely different in itself. So the memory manager tool will actually manage the memory of the platform. So if your trading platform is using up too much memory, you can just boost the memory and just release it. OK, so various different tools that you can use for CBOTs. So it's not all automated trading systems. I just want to make you aware of that. We offer these all on our website. Um, and down here, we've got one that is an automated trading system, OK, so which has got all the parameters there that you use. So with CTrader or with any um, system that you're using for automated trading, you'll have the parameters that you want to set. Now the parameter, you might have the trading system, but if you have the incorrect parameters for the technical indicators or how you're using your system, you're not going to get good results. So for each symbol that you're trading, they'll have unique, or most of them will have unique settings. So you need to find the settings that suit the symbol that you're trading. So in this case, we've got the AUD USD. Now these are the settings that are set that are better for this tool here. Now what I'm going to quickly do is just show you a back test. Now I'm going to do another video after this and explain exactly what backtesting is. Now what a backtest is, and I'll go into more detail, but I'll do it briefly here. A backtest is just where you simulate a trade over historical data to see if it had performed well. Now, even though you're doing historical data, it doesn't mean it's going to perform well on future data, but it increases the probability that you will get good results on future data. But because the markets have so many different types of events, anything could happen that could mess this up. OK, it could be like a world war or anything like that. And all your technical indicators, all your um, optimization, all of that will mean nothing. So it's just about increasing probability. So what I'm going to do now is just run a back test on this and just show you. I'll take off visual mode. So once you run a back test, this is a back test running on this robot over a very short period of time, 19th of the 9th. So it's about a month um, and it just shows you the results down at the bottom. You can look at the trade statistics as well. Now I'm going to quickly show you um, a visual mode if it actually working. Um, so if I was to play here and go to history, you'll see that the price is running there. Now it's opened up to opened up a position. Two positions have closed already, and the back test is still running. Now the whole idea behind this with visual back test, uh, like again, I'll explain it in more in the next video, is that with an automated trading system, this is how it works. You actually run it. So this is simulating as if it was working in a uh, historical data, but if you were running it in the future. Uh, the system will just run for you and open and close positions and it will manage those positions and it will do everything for you. And even though this the Neptune system runs and it runs with a low um, drawdown, again, it's about how much risk you're, you're, you're risking, how much, sorry, how much your capital you're risking. Um, the whole idea is that um, an automated trading system will run the system, trade for you based on your trade rules. But some, I would definitely recommend you wouldn't just start an automated trading system and walk away and never look at the trades. The moment a trade opens, I would also look at the position and manage that trade. You don't doesn't mean you have to close it, but it means that you look at if it's coming near, for example, um, a major support and resistance zone, or maybe there's something in the markets you know is going to affect it. You want to go in and stop it. So if you could leave it running and it could work perfectly, but at some point um, you could leave it running and something could go wrong and you'll lose money. This is why I do not believe that you have a system that you can just leave it and let it run forever and nothing will happen. OK, so as you can see, this one's just trading and opening positions. You can see the profit at the top um, and this is based on trade rules for the Neptune, Neptune trading system. OK, so that's that. Well, I just wanted to explain to you exactly different types of automated trading systems and how they work. Um, and then what I'm going to show you now, I just come out of that and I'll go into the indicators tab. You can see it's still closing positions. This is the historical trades that have opened and closed for this back test. Now I'm going to go to indicators. I can come back to that. Now indicators, um, again, it's um, um, indicate, indicate when you create an indicator with CTrader, it's just exactly that. It's just an indicator to show you um, potential trades that you can either integrate with existing automated trading systems. So all of these indicators are um, analysis tools or technical indicators that you can integrate into your automated trading system or your trade rules. And you use these as signals to enter a trade. Now, you can have basic ones or you can have complex ones. Now, the harmonic scanner that we've got here, you can actually, we have got an API for this. You can see here it come up with a bullish shark pattern and you can see the price did go up all the way up to here. It did actually go bullish. So you can use these patterns to identify 
um, when the trade's about to reverse, which direction to enter. So in this case, if you're doing an automated trading system, we have an API that you can plug into the Harmonic Scanner, and this is we sell this on our website, and you can actually identify a trend reversal. Now, I would never use just one indicator to um, as an indication of when to enter a trade. I would use a setup, a trade setup. Go on the internet, look at um, example trade setups. There are many types of examples and uh, trade setups that you can use. First of all, I would use it for manual trading. So if you're thinking of doing automated trading, I would actually first manually trade it. So any idea you've got in your head, if it's possible, unless you're scalping or doing something that needs fast response. If you've got an idea in your head of a trade strategy, I would manually do it if you can. Make sure it works. And once you're happy that it works and that you've got a high probability of making winnings, then you document it, you write it down, and then you actually go ahead and do it, okay? So that's all I want to show you there. And I'm just gonna quickly go to our website and show you who we are. Okay, so we click, click algo.com. So just come to us and you can have a look at all the tools and software that we've got on offer. So we've got lots of different products, lots of indicators, lots of automated trading strategies. It's all fully documented and uh, we've got most of them, pretty much all of them have got video tutorials on how to use it. So it's easy to find us. All of these got 14 day free trials. And uh, the other thing I want to show you is our YouTube page, which is what you're probably watching this video from now. So on the YouTube page, just come here. If you subscribe to our channel, um, you get alerted as soon as we do a new video. Now, if you scroll down, we've got all videos regarding um, different types of tools that we, we offer. We've got a whole C-Trader platform tutorial and the video tutorials that I'm recording now are for the C-Trader automate tutorials. So the next one I'm going to plonk in is just here, which is for the uh, what is an automated trading system. And the next videos I'm about to do is um, backtesting, optimization, and any other loose ends about the automate trading area. And then after that, I'm going to start doing a whole series on programming, starting from the very basics to help traders learn how to program. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.